You guys okay out there? Sorry guys. It's getting packed in here and they're streaming the snooker also. So uh, I apologize, we might get bumped off here a little bit. I apologize everybody. It's packed man. Good kick. Uh, nice left Jason a shot at the one here. He left the dog a sniff of the rabbit. But the two is not ideal. That's tough to get to. You gotta put some stroke on this. Unless you come left rail, bottom rail, back out for the deuce. Again, sorry guys, it's packed in here. We might be getting booted off a little bit. Oh, what a shot. He's smiling. Don't think he meant that. Um, we're using uh, their hook up here, Celtic. Uh, so we're sharing their broadband with Alberta Snooker and with all the new phones. Uh, it's tough. If it wasn't for the open stream, uh, this would probably cost over six, seven hundred dollars a day. Oh, great cut in the side. So again, hey, this is my... Uh, uh, we won't have these problems next year, I promise you guys. Oh, lays good on the four. It's just playing. Hit it. He was looking at maybe playing out with bottom left. Try to maybe come off that long rail in between the 5-7. He's, he's in tricky position. You can let the cue ball run. You gotta cut it. It's almost like middle right. Bring the four ball into the bottom left. Try to come three rails back out for the five into the bottom right. But it looks like he's digging it with bottom left. Might try to bump the nine out. Oh. Oh, that's some shot. That is some shot.
and come forward, two rails, nine in the bottom right. Get another one back here, nine five. Nine five. You know what I'd like to see there guys is I would like to see a you know like how we have the there's a world cup I know they have a world cup of pool the two players I would like to see a world cup how they have soccer style with billiards you get five players on a team you play eight ball nine ball ten ball have scotch doubles like a Davis cup format and move on I, th I think that would be something great because you imagine some of the teams that would be out there They're doing that in a few weeks, Sarah. Oh, I'm just a little. I've been on a stream for 13 days straight, so I haven't really been catching up on any billiard news. Now, the one thing I I, I want to know is the Pan Am Games are in Toronto. There's billiards in the Pan Am Games. So maybe this is something the CBSA, I don't know, is, is there a qualification or something for uh, to send players for the Pan Am Games? Maybe that's something Coop or uh, someone from the CBSA can uh, let us know about. I think you might be able to cut the two off the rail in the five and in. I think it might be off a little bit. Go back in blue, girl. That's a good shot. But he tied up the five. That's why he laid the cue on the table. Everybody good out there? Thumbs up if you guys are good. It's a good hit. You're back up there, Denise, too. It's perfect. Uh, someone's mentioning about uh, Eric and Tyler. I mentioned something earlier today. Some of you guys uh, might want to repeat it, but I am going to have another match after this, but I will explain it after this is done. It's a good shot. So another one back. We might see Alex take a break. Jason if it's waking up. If this was winter break you know, the way Jason is potting balls right now. I'm going. Alex is taking a break. Be back in a second, everybody.
Rack number 16, Alex to break. Alex leading 9 6. Sit. Alex has been breaking two different ways. One rack, it's hard, one rack, soft. He's got to find that middle ground. He's, he, his first match against Alex, he was breaking hard. Uh, Bertram, first place, I believe, is, I think it's 700, uh, 1,700 and a trip to the Worlds. Second place might be 1,300. Third place was a thousand. So it's not a bad payout. I'm not sure if both players get a trip to the Worlds. Um, I've been here 13 days straight, or 12 days straight. I'm kind of forgetting what's going on. Hey, thanks, Sarah. Yes, Canada is flying, uh, Alex is flying a Canadian flag. If you uh, go and look at uh, Alex's profile on some of the big uh, sites, he's uh, flying the Canadian flag. He has to be to be uh, playing in the Canadian Championships. Well, this is the shot of the rack. He's good. Just roll forward. Good shot. He's alright, he's not straight. You want to kill it off the long rail. Play the six in the bottom right. He's good. You can just play this with bottoms. Come on the high side of the seven, play the seven into the bottom left.
write something there, Denise, so I can get you up. Nine seven. Okay, you're good. Nine seven. Oh, is this five going to get in the way of the one again? Nope. The one drops. He has a shot on the two. Just draw it back. Good shot. Write something there, Tammy. He's using everybody, Denise. He's used Sarah, you, Miss 8. He's using everybody. He's using Jay Halford. He even used uh, Grady Matthews. He used Hillbilly. He used Tammy. Pool Action TV, TV Mike. He's using everybody. Yeah, Dempsey. Sorry about that, guys. Just trying to do a little problem we've been having. Oh, no. Oh. After playing almost perfect pool, Alex up 8-1. Alex jumps out of his seat. Long shot on the four. Oh, some shot. <sighs> wow.
Oh, what a shot. That's hard not to bump that seven. Just draw it back. This could be what Alex needs. made the nine. Ten seven. Stops the bleeding for a little bit. Rack number 18, Alex to break. Alex leading 10-7. Went back to the soft break. He's got to find that middle ground. This is a shot on the one. Nothing easy to get on the deuce. If you can get between that three and the five, the two does go into the bottom right, but that's not easy. We are rammed in here. The ref is Denise Belanger. Right, said, I'm just going to play safe. Ten seven. Now oh. he's gonna have to put some juice on this and go right rail. Try to go top two. I'll make my comment at another time about that, but uh, right now I'm just going to comment about the Canadians. He's got to go two rails here. He's got to kick behind. Get that one back down table. Well, he got the cue ball, but he might lose it in this corner pocket. Yep, that's a ball in hand. Boulamay, however you want to say it. Oh yeah, uh, Denise. Um, last year when uh, Andy was playing uh, Montel, he made that jump shot middle of the table. The cue ball and the object ball was about like a not even a quarter of an inch apart, and he pulled out the two rakes and jumped it. Do you have that on video? Andy almost did it yesterday. I broke away from a match. He had the two rakes out. And I was like, guys, you have to see this if he does it. And he ended up not doing it.
Hey, thank you, my friend. User Bing Geek. We appreciate it, man. We've had enough of this guy. Great shot. Oh, he's leaving himself a 4 7. Oh, is he going to get a lucky leave? I think it goes. Nah, the five, the four clears. Got the seven, eight and to the left side. Just come up one rail. Back for the nine. Play with left. So it be, could be 10-8, guys. Oh. Wow. Wow. That put him too back. In an alternate break, coming back like that. Wow. It's giving Alex a gift here in this rack. It's 11 7.
Oh no. Oh, he hung the one. I'm not sure if he can get through the 7 8. Can he get through the 7 8? Can he get through the 7 8? Grace just told me, yeah, he can see through that 7 8. Uh, the commentator is Rod Babin. I actually have John Moore in the booth uh, standing here watching. Hey, thanks a lot there, Dorabella. Hi, how are ya? Tammy says hi, John. John, he says hi. He said he partied with you in Vegas. <laughs> She's laughing. That's a good shot. It's good on the two. The four sits over the right side. Just come off that right rail. That's good. Good angle. Come two rails out for the six into the top left. Plays good on the six. Off the long rail. Roll it forward. Oh, a little short. He's okay. Not. He's okay. Eleven eight. You want to do some commentary? <laughs> Rack number twenty. Alex to break. Alex leading eleven eight. Right, is he going to go hard or soft? He's been going back and forth. Now he went back to the soft break. Come off. Ooh, he almost hugged it into the corner. I left a hanger. He used all part of that pocket. 
He's okay. Stop the two. He has the four on the side. Come low. Five bottom left. Seven to the eight. That's really it. Hit that share button, everybody. Dank trees. What is going on, buddy? I just saw your name and I said, What's up? Fellow AZer. Just got home, eh, buddy? Yeah, Jerry. This is the finals. Alex was up 8 3. Then it got to 9 7. Now it's 11 8. All he has to do is just come back. Long rail. He has the 8 ball into the bottom left. Uh, he's okay. Just roll forward. A little stun push. Good shot. Gets the nine. I gotta talk to him. I, I just gotta talk to him. Twelve eight. Oh, no, AZ, AZ Billiards. Dang trees. Hey, you got Labat Ice Rod commentating. Rack number 21. Jason a break. Jason trailing. 12 racks to 8. Oh, that soft break again. Yeah, man, dang trees is all over the uh, Canadian AZ forum, guys. Hit that share button. We got a burn burner, man. Alex was up 8-3 or 8-1. I'm forgetting because I'm so caught up in this match. It's a race to 15. Alex won the 8-ball Canadian Championships. He's trying to do the double. Oh, he's okay. He cut the four into the bottom right. You can just play it with a little top right. Come off the long rail. Get back down from the five into the bottom left. Good shot. He can just cut it. As long as he can get past that seven. That's what he wants to do. Perfect shot. She's not straight. He's okay. Probably just bump it out. Play the seven into the right side. Good shot. Looks like he's going to pull another one back. 12 9. It's only three behind. Twelve nine, everybody. This is a huge game, guys. Alex breaks and can get up. He's at 13. He's still going to have a lot. 
lot of opportunities to break and run out the set. If Jason can get this rack to be down two with the break, you're down one. Now the alternate break isn't so bad anymore. Because you know you're going to have chances to break to get back into the, to, to the tie or to get back overhead. So see what Alex does here. Back to the soft break. He's good. The one clears. The two's over the top right. This is a road map, guys. Oh, Jason's looking at the ground. He knows he's not out of it yet, but it's tough. Alex breaking, leaving that one up to the top. Table's wide open. The only problem is that five, but I think the five does pass into the bottom left. And after this match is done, give me a bit. We're going to be streaming in a money match for you guys. I'll explain everything after this match is done. Good shot on the two. One sec, everybody. Shot on the four. Watch your head. Watch your head. <laughs> I don't have a cell phone number, I'll just be here. Yeah, I'll try. I have your number. He's got the five. Oh, gets a bump on the eight. Just puts his hand up, but there's no problems with that. That's just a little bit of Alex's antics. He never likes to bump a ball. You don't want to bump a ball in a nine ball. But he's okay. He just rolls this in. He has a seven in the bottom right. Mm. All right, he's good. Just draw it over the table. Play the eight into the bottom left. Good shot. Drop back a bit. Nine bottom right. He'll be two away from doing a double. We're packed here, folks. Thirteen. He's two away from doing a double. Rack 24. Jason a break. Jason trailing 13 9.
All right, Alex is two away from doing a double. Clad is by no means out of this. This crowd is, we are packed here, everybody. Comes Jason, soft break, watch the three ball. Oh, he doesn't have a great shot on the one, but he does have a shot. After this rack is done, guys, I'm going to give you a panning of the crowd. It is packed. And if you're in the Toronto area and you want to still see some great pool, come down to Victoria Park and Lawrence in Toronto. Victoria Terrace Plaza, the 10 ball starts tomorrow. We're running straight till Saturday, guys. It is free to come in. Great shot, but he oh, lost a cue ball. I don't want to say nothing, but that could be the straw that broke the camel's back. And everyone knows I got love for Clat, man. I love for all my Canadian pool players. I think this could be three years in a row that he's came second. I'm not sure. I got to take a look at everything. Well, this is a wide open table. Alex is feeling it now. He knows he can smell blood, see the finish line. He wants ring number two. This is it the fourth time, Sarah? Good draw with the rake. Ooh, he miscued on that. You could hear that. The only thing is, he can come around. That's seven, nine goals if he chooses to play it. Jason was one ten ball last year. He defeated Alex for the ten ball championship. I'm telling you guys, uh, if you're a fan of pool, it doesn't matter if you're Canadian, American. What Alex is trying to do here is create history. Only one player has ever won two events in the men's. That's Chris Wood when he won the nine ball in the snooker. Alex is playing in all four events. And there could be no way to stop him. Who knows? This guy's on a mission. Like I said, he's not drinking at all. He hasn't had one sip of alcohol. That's right. Martel won 9 and 10. Correct. That is 14-9. I'm going to give you a pan of the crowd here, guys. This is how packed it is. We are rammed here, guys. And it's going all the way to the back. Snooker players are watching. It is nuts here at Shooters, guys. Like I said, if you can get down to the Toronto area, make your way down here. You do not want to miss this. Bacon, what's up, buddy? Alex is breaking for the ring. Snooker and Saturday with the 10 ball there, Dank Trees. Come on down. Too slow. You can still make it from Virginia. Virginia and Alex hammers the break. That nine went almost flying in. Look at this snap. Made four balls off the break. That is just disgusting. The guy's been slow breaking the whole match. Smashes it, makes four balls off the break. Sitting pretty for another ring. Wow. That's all I can say, man. I'm going to put the headphones down, guys. You're just going to listen to the roar.
That's a double. Alex has taken down two. He's got two more to go. Alex Pegaline, everybody. He just won the eight ball. He just won the nine ball. He's got two more to go for the four crowns. He wins a ten ball. He takes the triple crown. Snooker. We are packed here, folks, at Shooters. We're seeing history in the making. We're going to have the award ceremony in a second, guys. There's your champ. Canadian 9-ball, Canadian 8-ball, 2012 champion. He's still got 10-ball in snooker, guys. Alex could win four Canadian championships. That is unheard of. He's tied the record as of right now. Wow, that's all I can say so far, guys. The guy's on a mission, man. Uh, if you guys saw the movie, The Blues Brothers, he's on a mission from God. All right, guys, you guys hold on tight. And uh, we're going to have an action match for you guys coming up soon. So don't go nowhere. You guys wanted some action, you're going to get some action. We're going to be streaming it shortly. Uh, I'm going to find out what the race is and all the parameters about it. But you guys wanted an action match on stream, you guys are going to get an action match on stream. We'll be back, everybody. Don't go nowhere. Hit that share button. Guys are going to be playing for some do re me. Alright guys, we're going to have Tyler Nearing and Eric Hildebrand playing for some dough. We'll be back buddy. We still got the award ceremony. <laughs> 